What is cracking people of oh boy oh boy oh boy I have some exciting news for you First of all I am officially announcing that I'm gonna jump into Godot and Unreal Engine and as a proof here you go I already have some games in Godot I'm learning Godot well I can create basic games in it right away so yeah I'm jumping into Godot man so yeah you can expect to see that and uh, another really cool and exciting announcement that I have is that since I have a lot of courses and a lot of you guys were messaging me about those courses and stuff like that instead of offering one by one which will total a lot of money you know selling one course for this price that price blah 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 instead what I decided to do is offer a monthly subscription where you can access all my courses like literally unlimited access for all my courses you have a monthly and yearly subscription where you can well just go in and learn and every single month I will add new content I just finished adding eight hours of new content in a section that I call Unity Mini Projects and assignments where you can create small projects and you'll be challenged to develop them further testing your knowledge and retaining it as well, I don't want to stall further on because you're watching this video. You can get 50% off on the monthly and yearly subscription. Click on the link below and access literally everything I have and more and more things will be added. As I, as I just said, eight new hours, hours are added to the tutorial. So yeah, I also plan to cover Godot and Unreal and I will put those tutorials over there as well and next month also you can expect to see Blender tutorials so yeah Blender will be covered, 3D will be covered so yeah click on the link below 50% off for the monthly subscription yeah so yeah now we can simply jump in the video I, I don't have anything to show you we will see everything how we can animate the character and my mustache is killing me so yeah let us jump into the video What's cracking gangsters? We are here in a new project. It is a 3D project and I'm using Unity 2018.2.18. If you're wondering why, well because everything I do can be done in any version. You can use Unity 4.6 and this will still work because that's how I roll. I don't use complicated features that you get confused and stuff. But what we are gonna do is, in this video, we're gonna go on Mixemo.com. Why is this useful? Well, if you buy or have or steal or, or, or I don't know, kidnap a 3D model, however you wanna call it, how whatever you do, I don't know what you do in your spare time, but when you have a 3D model and it's not animated, it's not rigged, it's just a regular plain old 3D model, you can go here on Mixemo.com and you can apply animations to it and use it in your game. So go over to Mixemo.com I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right because I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of you guys who will be like technically you're not pronouncing it I don't care okay I don't care just go here sign up here at the top left corner you will see sign up or sign in you know the drill give your info give your uh, enter your password agree to everything they force you to agree probably they will steal your home you will be left alone no money because you agree that they can take everything I'm just kidding man this is just a tutorial don't panic but yeah when you do that what is the next step for us to do well then we can go here on the Mixamo we have animations and we have characters right here as you can see I can click on characters here and I already have one character, this bad boy over here is a built-in character. Look at that mouth, man. I, I, I wish I would feed that mouth. Look at that mouth, man. I'm just kidding, man. I'm not that impressed. <laughs> Anyways, you see we already have some of the characters they give us for free because they respect us. But we are not going to talk about these characters right now. I will talk about them probably in another tutorial and create them and import them and stuff and other things that I will do. But then, what I'm saying man, just go here on the animations tab. But what I'm gonna do, so click here on the animations tab, I'm gonna upload my own character. So here, as you can see, you can click on upload character and you can drag and drop an FBX, OBJ or zip file. If I go here in my folder, as you can see, I have this Samurai underscore V3 version 3 and this Samurai V3, this version or this 3D model, you can download the link will be in the description below. You can go on my website, awesometudes.com and you can download the asset, but link will be in the description below. By the way, this asset is brought to you and thanks to them by BitGem. I will also put their link. As you can see, you have a lot of, a lot of things here, you see? A lot of things they have so yeah big shout out to them really really cool really cool 3d models and if you're shopping for 3d models this is definitely the website to go because these these guys are badass man so yeah 
what we can do is when you unzip this file, so unzip it, and then we can go here under in the in the folder itself, then in the models, and you have the samurai.fbx. You see, .fbx. This is the file you want. So what I can do is now I can drag and drop that right here. As you can see, it will wait a moment or two for it to upload. So we will need to wait a moment or two for it to upload. And when it's uploaded, so come on, come on, finish uploading, finish uploading. And uh, while it's uploading, I'm gonna show you the Gadot. I'm learning Gadot engine. I mean, I already learned a lot. You can probably create a simple game and expect Gadot tutorials, by the way, expect Gadot. So yeah, and here it is. This is my 3D model, okay? So you see? This is the Samurai Bad Boy. What I'm gonna do now, when we already have everything is imported, it's auto-rigged, I'm gonna click on Next. And your 3D character has been uploaded, proceeded with character, your previous character that we saved. Yeah, I don't care that. I don't care. I don't care about that. And here is my character. As you can see, here is my character. Now, what we can do is, first of all, I am going to go here and find me a nice little idle animation. As you can see, I'm in the animations tab. You see? animations tab so go there and then you can have this search right here you see and click here and simply type idle I'm gonna hit enter and find me some nice idle animation so let's go here and see what we got let's find something nice man do you have something nice do you have something to offer me something that is nice okay this is one of the idle that I want this one standing idle Okay, this one can do. You see this animation? I'm, I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm gonna do something for the walk. You see here, I'm going to change this character arm space and whatnot, but for the idle, just click on it and it will be applied right away. As you can see, now it is being played on the character. So this is his idle animation. It's already being played. I'm gonna click here on this pause button because I don't want it to continue to be played. And now when we have applied the animation, and by the way, just click on the animation and it's being applied. So then I'm gonna click here on download character. Click on the download. This is really, really, really important. Now, frames per second, I'm gonna say 30. This right here, I'm not gonna touch, so none. And here, with or without skin, we don't care because we have the skin over here. You can download this with skin for the characters that are pre-built in, which will basically give you the textures and everything for that character. But what it's important, what is important here, the format, it will probably be here on FBX. What you need to do is click on the drop down list right here and click on FBX for Unity. So FBX for Unity, click on that. So when you click on it, click then download and it will download that file. So yeah, it will download the asset and it downloaded it now. Now, before I proceed to play with it, I'm gonna go here and type walk in the search so that I can find some walk animation. I'm gonna take this one. This one right here looks nice. As you can see, I'm gonna click here in place so that I can see the animation a little bit better. Yeah, so what we can do is we can now play with some of these settings here. As you can see, I can put this overdrive which will make the animation a little bit slow, you see? You can have some slow motion things happening here. So I'm gonna put this right, I can also put it 100. You see, he's like he's rushing, he's rushing to, to go to the bathroom, you know? <laughs> now, character arm space, I'm going to make his arms a little bit, you know, wider. Yeah, yeah, now he looks like a gangster. Look at the badass samurai. Look at the badass samurai, okay. I'm pretty satisfied. This is the animation that I want. And I'm gonna click on download. Again, make sure it's FBX for Unity and click on download, and this is going to download that, well, animation. What, what did you expect me to say? What's gonna download? So, okay, now that I have that downloaded, what I'm gonna do is go here, so go back here in the asset, and I have the samurai, you see? What I'm gonna do, the samurai folder, that is, that you download, the link will be in the description below. I'm going to click on this right here, Unity Package. So click on the Unity Package and it will import it. You see, it will offer you this window where you will, where you can import, you see, where you can import that, that asset. So I'm gonna click here, Import, and it's gonna import it. So we are going to have our, so here we have the BitGem folder and I'm going to go here, Samurai Ronin, and then I'm going to go here into Models and here is our Samurai. So this is our Samurai bad boy, you see? This is our Samurai. Okay, again, I'm going to say, so that you don't forget, this is our Samurai. I'm just kidding, but anyways, let me actually go here and try to put this prefab. Yeah, it's not working for some reason, probably because of the Unity version, I don't care. We do have the sword though, so then this should work as well. No, it's not. I don't care. 
I'm not gonna go into that, but we have this 3D model. Before I proceed to import animations, I'm gonna go here into materials and simply what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure if this can work like this, if I can select all these game objects and apply the same material on all of them. Can it work like that? No, I need to do it one by one, you see? Now this is tedious a little bit. So yeah, simply drag and drop this material on every part of the samurai's body. So drag and drop it here, drag and drop it here, and we have two more left samurai leg and his right leg, and we are done. So okay, we are done. Voila, this is our samurai. So now what I can do is I can go here in my downloads and here are the two animations. You see, here are the two animations. We have, we have the walking, we have the idle. I'm gonna go here where the models are and simply drag and drop these bad boys right here. So simply drag and drop them in Unity and just like that, we have the walking animations. You can see here it is. This is our walking animation. I can click here to move or to play, to preview it, and it is working. I can click on the idle as well. You see, it's right here. But how can we apply this on our samurai? What we need to do? Well, first of all, I'm going to right click here and create an animation or animator controller. I'm going to call it Samurai Controller. And I'm going to click on the samurai and simply attach it right here. So attach it on the samurai. Nothing special, or it's not complicated. So next what I can do is I can go here, select the Samurai, go inside of the Animator tab, which is under Window and then Animation, then Animator, so make sure that you open it. I can right click here, create an empty state, which is going to be idle. So I'm going to name this one idle. I'm going to duplicate it. You see, I'm going to duplicate it and this one. So this one is going to be walk. And while I am here, I'm going to create here a trigger or actually a boolean that's called walk and create a transition. So from idle to walk and back or vice versa. I'm going to click on the transition here, which is the arrow and then go here in the settings. I'm going to click on the list condition when walk is true, but here I'm going to uncheck has exit time and transition duration will be zero and click here on this other transition. And here the condition is going to be when walk is equal to false uncheck exit time and transition duration is equal to zero. So what we can do now is I can click on the idle, go here at the top, you see where it says motion, I have this little circle here, I can click on it and I can click here stand, standing idle. So I have selected the motion standing idle, which is the animation by the way, and I can click on the walk and click here on the circle and I'm going to select the walking animation as you can see right here. So yeah, basically that is that. And before I proceed, I'm going to take the main camera, command shift F so that this is what we see in our main camera when we run our game so that I can preview these, these animations. So basically I can go now here into the animation tab and I can click on the samurai. You see here idle, I can preview it. Now I can click here and I can preview it. You see, he is being, he is in the idle. I can preview the walk and he is walking. So these animations work because, well, I mean, what did you expect? Yeah, of course they work, of course they work. What I'm gonna do as the final thing, I'm gonna go here, right click and create a C-sharp script. I'm simply going to call it player and attach it on the Samurai game object. So simply go here, drag and drop it, attach it on the Samurai game object. Let me just go here and I'm going to quickly turn off Mixamo because I think it's, it's doing bad things on my, uh, it's running all these animations and stuff like that. So my computer will start to lag since I limited the working of these fans. Anyways, let me just drag and drop the player. So attach it right here and double click it and open it in Visual Studio. By the way, Gadot uses Visual Studio, which is really cool. It uses C Sharp. So yeah, expect more Gadot, to, I mean more. I still didn't create one, so expect Gadot tutorials. Anyways, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to create a private animator anim, not anin, it's anim, and in the way anim is equal to you get the component animator, simply to get that component. And what I'm gonna do here is, well, simply this. I'm going to get the input, I'm going to say float h is equal to input dot get axis raw, and I'm going to say horizontal. Of course, we don't need to make this pretty and stuff like that, so, uh, Basically, yeah, here I'm going to test if age is greater than zero or here I'm going to also say or age is less 
then zero, and here I'm going to say else. Now, it's not important. We're not gonna move the character or anything. I'm just gonna show you that we are going to work with animation and that they work. So I'm going to say anim.setBool, which is walk, and I'm going to say here it's true. So when we either press the left arrow key or the right arrow key or AD or the D key or whatnot. So I'm simply going to demonstrate that these animations work and that we can that we can well bring these animations back or, or actually use them in unity and interact with them so if i go in unity now and if i hit the play button and i've changed the position of the camera so you saw that a moment ago here is the camera you see now he is walking but he's not walking anymore why is that well there is one thing that we need to do is i can go here i can click on the idle double click it and it will open the animation right here you see when it opens it in the inspector panel we can also go here and select the idle animation here it is so click on it in the models folder and when you go here in the inspector tab go into the animations tab so go, go in the animation tab and here loop time we need to check it so check the loop time and click apply and go here for the walking and do the same thing click on the loop time and hit apply if you don't do that it will not loop the animation because the walk and the idle these are the animations that need to loop they need to play over and over and over again so yeah basically just click on the loop time check it and then hit apply and voila we are good to go we're good to go so yeah so now if I go here and hit the play button you will see that when I press a or D key or left arrow key or right arrow key you see he is walking and now when I release it he stops walking walking he stops walking walking he stops walking and pay attention to the idle animation as well so yeah you see and of course in our game if you were to use this like uh, to move the character and stuff like that you can use my other tutorials or you can sign up for the monthly subscription link will be in the description below 50% off because you're watching this video and uh, yeah get access to all my library so yeah basically this is it and if you're moving the as I said if you're moving the character I have other tutorials where you can move him using the rigid body or the transform it's not important and then you can animate him along that as well and basically this is how you can simply how you can simply go on mixamo.com so mixamo.com and how you can create and rig a character even if you have no idea what you are doing so you see here just go here mixamo.com and i showed you how to mix a how to rig a character and literally Literally, uh, you don't have to have any knowledge about 3D. You can simply get a model from BitJam, for example, get a model from them. You don't know how to work with it in terms of you don't know how to rig it, you don't know how to animate it. Go on Mixamo.com and animate the model and voila, you simply import it and use it in Unity. So this is how you can create badass 3D animations for your games, even if you have no idea what you are, uh, what you are doing. So uh, basically that's that. Thank you for watching and uh, I guess stay out of jail because you will not be able to watch my tutorials. Take care guys. What? Did you know that I offer a monthly and yearly subscription to all my courses and you can get them now at 50% off just clicking on the link below. So just go over there, click the link below and you will learn to create all these games that you see behind me. 50% off monthly or yearly subscription. That's a nice deal. Just go and learn. Click the link below.